Tonight, we have an update on one family story that many in the Charlotte area have followed for nearly two decades. Sandra Adams, the grandmother of Chancellor Lee, tells me that they have received a monumental gesture from Ray Carruth that they want to acknowledge. Ray Carruth sent them several thousand dollars. It was delivered through the court system, so it took some time to process, and there was no letter or communication attached, but it's the first support they've received from him in at least a decade. It comes after the former Carolina Panther was released from prison last October after serving time for planning the murder of his girlfriend, Sharika Adams. Now, Sharika was pregnant with their child, Chancellor Lee, when she was shot multiple times. She died, but by emergency C-section, Chancellor Lee survived. Deprived of oxygen in utero, he now lives with cerebral palsy and has been raised by his maternal grandmother, Sandra. Now, Sandra Adams tells me she does not know how to reach Carruth personally, but wanted to publicly acknowledge his gift because she says it speaks volumes and she does not take this lightly. I've reached out to my sources who are in contact with Ray Carruth and so far have not yet heard back from them. But this is, again, one of the most memorable stories in Charlotte's history. The way that Chancellor Lee and his grandmother have triumphed over tragedy has inspired people all over the world. Last year, we documented their journey in a one-hour primetime special called Ray Carruth and the Son Who Survived.